Hi everybody, I've never done a content creator of the year video before, um, but this guy really is very, very special. Um, and so I've just got to kind of mention it. And so my content creator of the year for 2022 has to be Squid G. And I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below this. Um, and the reason for this is because of Squid's absolutely amazing commitment to the game and the franchise he loves. Um, and his community and building his channel so squid has been around for many many years you probably remember i think it was um squid and wheezy videos um, from like battlefield 4 battlefield uh, 1 um, where him and his friend used to make these hilarious videos where they were up to all sorts of hijinks on the battlefield noshing people you know basically creeping behind people blowing people up with c4 and different things and generally creating you know a lot of chaos and a lot of fun um unfortunately they stopped making content together um <clears throat> and for many people that would be enough of a challenge to maybe you know even stop making content yourself as well but squids kept going um building his own brand building building the channel up um and then after battlefield one obviously we had battlefield five which wasn't the best of battlefields especially after arguably two of the greatest battlefields in the modern era with battlefield 4 and battlefield 1 and so battlefield 5 had lots of trouble and it really took a long long time to hit its stride by the time the pacific dlc came out it probably did um but there was many many decisions that dice and ea made about battlefield 5 that made it less fun than previous battlefields and then we had Battlefield 2042, which was a complete disaster at launch. I mean, arguably the worst Battlefield since Hardline, probably worse than Hardline. And I remember playing the beta on my um, my PlayStation 4 and I think on my Xbox Series S and going, no, no, this, this is, I can't believe how bad this is. Um, it was buggy, it was glitchy, you had 128 player lobbies and yet the game felt empty at times, the maps looked like xbox 360 maps um and you know i mean normally over a battlefield lifetime i would make dozens if not hundreds of videos about battlefield and yet for battlefield 2042 i didn't even bother buying the game at launch i just didn't bother thought no this this is i'm just no way i'm giving money to ea and dice for this because this is a travesty there's no campaign either um, so many things were missing from the game at launch um, it was really terrible I was really heartbroken really disappointed um, and it wasn't until a year later when the game basically has had many 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 patches and is in a much better pl position now to play that I actually bought it and I you know and enjoy playing it now but squid he kept supporting the game now he did play some other games as well but his main focus was always battlefield 2042 um, he wasn't afraid of giving his feedback to the devs about it, um, but he was always keeping it positive. You know, always creating those those videos with the, with the battlefield moments to show you know this is this is when battlefield is good, it is the best. You know, it really is. Um, and he kept building his community uh, with his live streaming and his videos on demand, and he always kept his sense of humour as well. Now he's not afraid of releasing videos. You know, where he puts his hearts on his sleeve. Um, and let's remember. Uh, you know battlefield 2042 has had some very dark times as well over the last uh, over the last year um the player count absolutely collapsed but again squid kept making creating content about it um kept supporting his community kept supporting the game kept building his youtube channel and so where are we now so i don't know if we say a year later you know the end of 2022 battlefield 2042 is arguably now fixed it's now really the game that it should be on release, or at least it is on PC and next-gen consoles. Um, it plays great. Um, it's probably on a par with something like Battlefield 4, almost. Um, you, you have lots of Battlefield moments in it. Moments in it. Um, they're gradually reworking all of the release maps so that they're the way they should have been on release. And Squid's channel, you know, it's growing and he's getting the views that he richly, richly deserves for sticking with the game, sticking with his community and supporting Battlefield through Thinking Thin. I mean, EA and DICE, they owe this man big, big style. And I know that Squid's type of content probably doesn't appeal to everybody, but I know he inspired inspired me to keep playing Battlefield 2042, buying it and then make, um, playing it and making some content as well. Um, and I think think for that, um, he is an amazing example 
of how you can if you if you stick by your guns and the core concepts of what you do which is creating the best content you can from the game or the franchise you love um things come around you know good things always come to to, to people who wait things always get better um and i remember w watching some of squid's videos you know half in the dark days of battlefield 2042 thinking yeah, play something else. Play some, please play something else. You know, you, because just for the sake of your channel, you know, and your your your, your uh, mental health. But he stuck with it. Uh, Battlefield has turned around. He's now getting more and more subs. His channel's going really, really quickly, and uh, it's a real inspiration. So, I'm probably not going to do this um, award ever again. This is the first time I've ever done it. I, I mean, it's not really an award, is it? I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, but I wanted to. To, to say squid mate yeah fantastic work over the last year um yeah for me you're definitely my uh content creator for 20 uh 22 and uh, really looking forward to see what 2023 brings with battlefield 2042 and what other uh titles um you decide to work on so well done and everybody else there's a link to his description to his youtube channel in the description below the video go over there have a watch of some of his videos subscribe you know, if you make a comment, say you came from my channel if you can, and say hello and uh, and keep supporting him. Okay, that's enough from me. Who's your content creator for 2022? Put ideas in the comment section below this video. If you enjoy the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.